Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations a plus b plus c is equal to 6, a squared plus b squared plus c squared is equal to 18 and root a plus root b plus root c is equal to 4. Our job is to find all possible values of a, b and c. So, let us start. Let us call this equation equation 1, this equation equation 2, this equation equation 3. First, we square both sides of this equation 1. Equation 1 is a plus b plus c is equal to 6 and we square both sides of this equation. According to algebraic identity, this a plus b plus c whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2 times a b plus b c plus c a is equal to this 6 squared is 36. Now, we replace this a squared plus b squared plus c squared with this value 18. So, this will become 18 plus 2 times a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 36 and we subtract 18 from both sides. So, this get cancelled and we are left with 2 times a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 36 minus 18 is 18 and if we divide both sides by 2 this implies that a times b plus b times c plus c times a is equal to 9. Let us call this equation equation 4. Now, we square both sides of this equation 3. Equation 3 is root a plus root b plus root c is equal to 4 and we square both sides of this equation. By using this algebraic identity a plus b plus c whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2 times a b plus b c plus c a. This will become root a squared plus root b squared plus root c squared plus 2 times root a b plus root b c plus root c a is equal to this 4 squared will become 16. Now, this square will be considered with this square root and this square will be considered with this square root, this square will be considered with this square root and we are left with a plus b plus c plus 2 times root a b plus root b c plus root c a is equal to 16. Now, we replace this a plus b plus c with this value 6 from equation 1. a plus b plus c is equal to 6 plus 2 times root a times b plus root b times c plus root c times a is equal to 16. We subtract 6 from both sides. So, this get cancelled and we are left with 2 times root a b plus root b c plus root c a is equal to 16 minus 6 will become 10 and if we divide both sides by 2 this implies that root a b plus root b c plus root c 
सी ए इज इक्वल टू फाइव लेट्स कॉल दिस इक्वेशन इक्वेशन फाइव नो वी स्क्वेयर बोथ साइड ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन फाइव सो दिस विल बिकम रूट ए टाइम्स बी प्लस रूट बी टाइम्स सी प्लस रूट सी टाइम्स ए होल स्क्वेड इज इक्वल टू फाइव स्क्वेड बाय यूजिंग दिस अल्जेबिक आइडेंटिटी दिस एक्सप्रेशन एट द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड विल बिकम रूट ए टाइम्स बी स्क्वेड प्लस रूट बी टाइम्स सी स्क्वेड प्लस रूट सी टाइम्स ए स्क्वेड प्लस टू टाइम्स रूट ए बी टाइम्स रूट बी सी विल बिकम रूट ए बी स्क्वेड सी प्लस रूट बी सी टाइम्स रूट सी ए विल बिकम रूट बी टाइम्स सी स्क्वेड ए प्लस रूट ए बी टाइम्स रूट सी ए विल बिकम रूट ए स्क्वेड बी सी एंड दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज इक्वल टू फाइव स्क्वेड इज ट्वेंटी फाइव Now this square will be considered with the square root. This square will be considered with the square root. And this square will be considered with the square root. And we are left with a times b plus b times c plus c times a plus. From these three terms, we can factor out root a b c. So we are left with two times root. A, B, C as common factor in bracket left. From here we are left with the root B, and from here we are left with the root C, and from here we are left with the root A is equal to twenty five. Now we replace this A B plus B C plus C A, and this root B plus root C plus root A with A B plus B C plus C A is equal to nine, and root A plus root B plus root C is equal to four. A B plus B C plus C A is equal to nine plus two times root A B C times this root A plus root B plus root C is equal to four. Is equal to Twenty-five. Nine plus this two times four will become eight times root a b c is equal to twenty-five. And we subtract nine from both sides, so this get cancelled. We are left with eight times root a b c is equal to. Twenty-five minus nine will become sixteen, and if we divide both sides by eight, this implies that root a b c is equal to two, and if we square both sides, this implies that a b c is equal to four. Now we recall equation. We recall equation one and four. Equation one is a plus b plus c is equal to six, and equation four is a b plus b c plus c a is equal to nine. Equation one is a plus b plus c is equal to six. Equation four is a times b plus b times c plus C times A is equal to nine. Now we suppose that A, B, and C be the roots of a cubic equation, and this is the sum of roots, and this is the product of roots. Product of 
roads and this is the sum of uh, sum of uh, product of uh, roads to its a time and according to vetas formula formation of a cubic equation is equal to x cubed minus sum of roots a plus b plus c times x squared plus sum of product of roots two at a time that is a times b plus b times c plus c times a times x minus product of roots that is a times b times c is equal to zero. Now to form this uh, cubic equation, we replace this uh, a plus b plus c with this six. Uh, we replace this uh, a b plus b c plus c a with this nine. We replace this uh, a b c with this four. So this will become x cubed minus six x squared plus uh, nine times x minus four is equal to zero. Now, if we put uh, x is equal to one in this equation, so this will become one cubed is one minus uh, six times one is six plus uh, nine times one is nine minus four is equal to zero, and then negative five uh, plus five is equal to zero is equal to zero. It means that uh, x is equal to one is a root. One is a, a root. And uh, x minus one is a factor. So we can find the other factor by using synthetic division. We write the coefficients of uh, this equation. Coefficient of x cubed is uh, one, and coefficient of x squared is uh, negative six. Coefficient of x is nine, and the constant is negative four. And since one is a root of this equation, so we divide by one. This one comes down as it is, and one times this one will become one. Negative six plus one is a negative five. Negative five times one is a negative five, and nine plus negative five is a four. Four times one is a four. Negative four plus four is a zero. So the first factor of this equation is uh, x minus one, x minus one, and the second factor is one uh, x squared minus five x plus four. X squared minus uh, five times x plus four is equal to zero. Now from here, either this expression x minus one is equal to zero. Or this expression, x squared minus five times x plus four is equal to zero. From this equation, we get the value of x is equal to one. And from this uh, quadratic equation, we write this x squared, and uh, we split this negative five x as a negative x minus four times x plus this four is equal to zero. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out x in bracket left uh, x minus one. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative four in bracket left uh, x minus one is equal to zero. And this x minus one is a common factor x minus one as common factor in bracket left uh, x minus four is equal to zero. And from here, either this uh, x minus one is equal to zero. Or this expression x minus four is equal to zero. From this equation, we get the second value of x is equal to one, and this is the third value of x is equal to four. This is second. And this is the first value. X one is equal to one. We recall that we have supposed. We have supposed that a, b, c are the roots of a Cubic equation. 
we have supposed that A, B and C are the roots of this cubic equation. So, A comma B comma C is equal to 1 comma 1 comma 4 and due to symmetry the second option will be 1 4 and 1 and the third option will be 4 1 and 1.